Hello, it's Average Row, and welcome to my blind reaction to the just dropped 20 minutes ago uh, Hawkeye MCU TV show trailer. And I cannot be more excited because I'm a big fan of the MCU, as I I'd like to, I like to claim I am at least. Um, and I've, I've watched all the MCU uh, Disney Plus shows, and um, I've, I've, I've enjoyed all of them. I haven't been blown away, like, completely by any single one of them, but they've all had really great moments, really iconic moments. Um, and, uh, yeah, I've, I've pretty much just enjoyed all of them overall. And I've been excited for this uh, new Hawkeye show since it was announced uh, for a couple reasons, uh, mainly because, um, in my opinion, Hawkeye is a very underrated hero in the MCU, and... Um, He's been due his time in the limelight, it, it, you know, in my opinion, uh, especially now that I think he's the last of the original six Avengers to get their own, like, property, their own show or movie, you know, so um, it's long overdue. And uh, the second reason I'm excited for this is because I've always been a big fan of Haley Steinfeld. She's like my celebrity crush or whatever, um, without getting too creepy. She's just, like, really talented. Um... Really great personality. She's great at singing, great at acting. You know, I think she was nominated for an Oscar at like 14 or something for her role in True Grit. And she's been um, um, long overdue a superstar role like this, you know. And I, when she got acquired by Marvel, I was just like, this is great. Because one, she's super talented. And obviously, I'm also a big fan of her. So um, I'm a big fan of her and a big fan of the MCU. So just seeing her in the MCU is just awesome. And um, she'll, of course, be playing the role of Kate Bishop in this show, in this show. and um, I personally, uh, if I'm being honest, know very little about Kate Bishop. I, I know she's like a female, younger Hawkeye, you know, and I think, I think they're kind of building up to this whole Young Avengers thing, and she's going to be playing a key role in that, um, but other than that, I, I know very little about Kate Bishop. I, I don't really know anything, so, so yeah, I think that's all I got. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this trailer. Here we go, guys. This is the first Christmas we've had together in years. I love you guys. Where was the mom? I didn't see the mom. Making up for some lost time. Yeah, she's not there. Okay, good. They're gonna be addressing his time as Ronan. See, they're kind of glossed over it in Endgame, so I'm really excited to see this. I'm pretty sure that's the Russo's daughter. Like, the director's, uh, one of the Russo's daughter, so... Cool little Easter egg there. When I wore this suit, I made a whole lot of enemies. Oh, no! That's... That's... That's Haley. Yeah. You're a Hawkeye! Who the hell are you? Some people have actually called me... The world's greatest archer. Oh, really now? <laughs> Is she like a super fan or something? Oh. Things have gotten more complicated. <laughs> oh, jeez. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> That's like a kind of like a comedic tone to it. Oh, what a musical. Oh, that was a sick shot. This is too dangerous. Definitely not this one. You have to say definitely like that. Holy shit. Arrows more dangerous than that one. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, it looks so fun, guys. Just some Christmas. Oh, that's sick. Is there Okay, that's it. Oh my gosh. That looks awesome. Really cool. Um jeez. All right, let's go ahead and uh, close out of this. Get my final thoughts here. Wow, that looks really fun. The tone is a little bit different than I expected. Um, you know, it, it was kind of juxtaposed. You have these like really big action scenes mixed in with like you know the uh, the Christmas song in the background, and they you know doing the classic MCU quips here and there. So um, I, I don't know. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think I'm gonna really enjoy this. Um, yeah, it seems like Kate Bishop is just kind of a uh, a um, like a super fan, you know, I didn't know if maybe she was like a distant um, relative or something like that, but it looks like she, you know, donned the Ronin 
moniker and was causing some issues or whatever, maybe being a vigilante and Hawkeye had to hunt down this person. And, you know, that's kind of how their relationship starts. Um, but, uh, you know, it seems like it's going to be a cool, like, buddy cop feel in, in a sense. Maybe similar to, you know, like, Joel, Joel and Ellie, but not as dark and serious, you know, kind of more ha has that levity to it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. What else did I see in that trailer? Um, yeah, the, I don't know where the wife was. The wife wasn't present. She, she's always been a big role when it comes to the family side uh, of Hawkeye. So, um, yeah, I think it's, I think this is coming out in November. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see, like, is, is the wife okay? Did she, like, pass away or... Um, did they split up? Uh, I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to remember everything I saw there. Maybe I can, like, take a look through it real quick. Yeah, so, I mean, the family aspect's gonna be huge, and they have speaking roles, you know, for the first time. I mean, I know they spoke a little bit in Endgame and in Age of Ultron, but, um, maybe they'll, they'll play a, a big part of the story here. But, um, uh, I'm interested to see, like, where, how did Kate Bishop get so good at archery? You know what I mean? Like to the point where she can at least be on the same standing as um, as Hawkeye. Sorry, I, mean, I have like, I have this the video up in the background here. Um, but uh, I mean, oh yeah, the, the 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 last thing I wanted to touch on now that I've scrolled through all of it is that I personally am a big fan of the more grounded MCU shows. Not that I don't like. Um, like the timeline jumping Loki or chaos magic filled WandaVision, you know what I mean? But out of all the shows, my personal favorite has been the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, but again, e even to the movies, like the, like the Captain America movies were always more, more, uh, were always the ones I, I liked more, um, because they're more grounded and they feel a little bit more real. Not that, uh, you know, the big wacky stuff like with Guardians or, or Thor Ragnarok, um, don't have a, a, a spot in the MCU. I think I think both sides are necessary is kind of what I'm getting at. You need both sides. And I feel like after Endgame, like all these phase four properties have been so, have been kind of like out there, you know, like I mentioned with Loki and WandaVision and uh, Shang-Chi has, you know, crazy powers and whatnot. Really the only grounded one we've had. Oh yeah, and like, what if? Like, what if is like the wackiest we've seen, in my opinion. Um, like the only ground one has been Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So I, I think Hawkeye is going to feel like a breath of fresh air in my opinion. Because, you know, he is that grounded hero. And that's kind of always been his purpose, you know, alongside gods like Thor and crazy tech with Stark, you know, and super soldiers. Like he's always been like the most grounded one. And uh, I, I really think he's going to pull that weight, that side of the MCU that that is that has been missing in recent properties. Um so I don't think it's gonna feel repetitive. I like I don't know. The feel I get from this show is just I don't know. It seems different, you know. And, and I'm really excited. You know, this trailer um, could have been a hit or miss for for many fans, but for me, it it, it looks like a hit. It looks like this is gonna be a really great show, guys. But um, but yeah, really excited to see Haley Steinfeld in this and uh, the return of Jeremy Renner. I think this might be his last his last show, kind of like with. Uh, with Scarlett Johansson and her Black Widow movie. I think this is the last we're gonna see. I think they're slowly phasing out um, the original six Avengers, you know, to shift the focus on like the, the heavy hitters of this next phase, like Doctor Strange with Wanda, with Spider-Man, you know? So um, um, I'm gonna go into this honestly thinking that this is gonna be the last we're gonna see of Hawkeye. And I mean, it's kind of bittersweet, you know? I've, like I said, I've always loved Hawkeye, and uh, but let's hope they go out with a bang, and if this trailer is anything to go off of, I think they're going to hit the nail on the mark. Um, no pun intended, but uh, yeah, that's all I got. Um, I guess I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you. Peace.